Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and I've got to be super quick. I'm doing a quick uh, int like intro to Blackpool Magic Convention. I got here last night. It's now Friday morning. Costa is the only place open and they've been very lovely and put the music off for me for 10 minutes, which makes me I feel like I'm such an arrogant idiot asking them. But hey, um, so I'm just going to check. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I just want to, so last night wasn't kind of officially starts today, but there was a close-up competition yesterday and obviously the big social. Um, so I'm going to be making videos every morning reviewing the previous day, but I thought it would be worth mentioning the close-up competition last night because it was, it was really nice. Um, it was a good mix of, it was, it was a fairly high quality. Obviously with, with a lot of competitions, you do get people that haven't done competitions before. And I... It was amazing watching it because it brought it back for me. I've done like three competitions and it's really not my comfort zone. I, I, I remember doing the, I've done the cups and balls in each one, which was a bit of a cop out because it's what I'd done for years. And every time I did it really badly because I was so nervous, because it's a weird thing. You're doing close up magic to a huge room of people, you know, people on a very high raised stage with a little table doing their close up to. I don't know how many people there were in there, but it was a big room, the Spanish Hall, and it was heaving. So the first thing to say is hats off really everyone that did it. I don't think anybody died badly. There were some pacing issues. There were some people that maybe weren't... I don't know. Actually, I thought everybody was quite ready. There was, you know, even the people that didn't seem quite strong were still doing really technical magic, which I probably wouldn't have been able to do, because like I said, I'd go to pieces. I'd... I did, the Magic Circle one was the first one I did in 2005, and I did the cups and balls, and I went out and I dropped them halfway through. If you see it online, there's an edit, because I dropped them. It was awful. I came second, unbelievably. Now, Matthew Garrett came first, quite deservedly so. But it just, if you ever watch a competition like that, just understand how hard it is. So, just hats off to everybody who did it. Not that, you know, my opinion's not that valid, but, you know, just for, for the kind of, I don't know, man, I watched it and I was like, <laughs> God, I remember this. Because <laughs> I've been thinking, should I do another one? And then I watched that and went, no, maybe not. The, the three standouts for me uh, were Mark Calabresi, I think that's his name, from New York, who just had this sort of street performer. I think he is a street performer, but this really confident, highly skilled, like any card called for stuff, but just done with such confidence and not arrogance really he sort of had the arrogant uh, character but just just really really a, a joy to watch and it was whether it was going to be him or the winner that did win and uh, i mentioned the winner in a minute the other really interesting one was martin hansen he did a beautiful routine with with the cups and balls and i've been thinking about the cups and balls a lot recently because i've been doing it for years and we're all doing the di vernon version and the sort of uh, cellini gazzo etc and he just did something that just felt different with it. He had really nice use of music. He came on with this really lovely music, so he kind of had you at hello with that, really, because it, he just sort of kind of took you into it, and he was this clown character, and he did the thing with the red nose, but then it changed, and I, I thought it was almost going to be like a sort of Tom Stone thing, but it wasn't. And uh, Will Houston said to me, actually, it was one of the only acts that made us magicians go, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And there was lots of those moments where the nose would change for a flower and he used a flower as a magic wand. But just, just a, a really, really lovely routine at the beginning, a middle and an end, and he'd spent so much time on it. And, the, you know, the, he, the cup would disappear from the table and end up under the hat and all that stuff. Were really, really worth looking. If you're at a convention and he's there, I'd really suggest seeing his show. Um, and the winner, Doki Moon, which from, from Korea, who was just brilliant he, he had this and it was the winner for me I think because he had a lovely a lovely card routine that kept me engaged for the whole 10 minutes which is very rare you know it, it, he did this thing where he kept repeating to the card would turn over and it had an arrow on the card that would point to his pocket and then there was a moment where the arrow pointed to this one which turned over and then an arrow pointed to that one and it was just I'm not doing it justice but a really nice act and again Do Ki Moon uh, if you get to see him uh, you know a card act that was funny genuinely funny I thought witty um, the irony in there and just a really, again, a really sharp act, but didn't feel over scripted and over formal. Um, and yeah, really, really enjoyed it. So that's kind of, that's a really quick overview. Obviously there was the socials in the less car, really different for me because I'm not drinking this year. So I just re actually really enjoyed that, but got really tired. So I was kind of in bed by one o'clock and, and then I was sort of wired and kind of thinking, should I have gone back? It was really lovely talking to Ben Al and hearing him. It, you know, I, I always love hearing his passion about stuff and, and obviously a lot of other people as well. But today's the main day. I'll be doing a more relaxed video. This is a bit of a 
quick sort of blur uh, until tomorrow, but do check in with us if you're not here, watch the videos, um, and do like and subscribe and share. That'd be lovely. Cheers.